Today, we're going to be learning how to uh, rock climb with uh, very special people. So Garrick is somebody who rock climbs uh, consistently for no damn reason. Now, I know you guys know that I'm scared of fucking heights. I'm not sure whose idea this was, but I'm not excited to do this shit. But we have a couple of special guests. We have uh, Sonny and Bonnie, and also Garrick, who will be teaching me how to rock climb. What about your girlfriend? Oh, and that's right, and Mariel's coming too. <laughs> Oops. So Garrett, how long have you been uh, rock climbing for? Um, maybe about like two years on and off. Yeah. <gasps> two of the biggest mistakes of his life. Garrett actually works for my friend Dan. Uh, I think he works also as a PA, a grip, or whatever he could place him in. But he actually rock climbs. He used to do parkour too, and just generally he's a very fit and athletic man. Uh, what I'm saying, he's the opposite of me. And why don't you tell people about your uh, rock climbing experience? I fall. <laughs> this is Sunny, by the way. I fall. I bought my gear stuck in the cool, and that's it. Bonnie and Sunny are two really close friends of Mariel. I think they actually went to college together in Berkeley back in the day. And I actually heard that Sunny rock climbs all the time. So I decided to invite them out as well, see what her skills are about. I'm not sure if she's good or anything, but fuck it. Have you rock climbed before? Yeah, and I'm rock climbing. <laughs> Harass my girlfriend, dude. It's right in front of me. <laughs> I fucking hate rock climbing. I haven't done it before. Actually, I did it once before for a girl. That girl was a fucking bitch anyways. I never really liked her. That's why I'm with Mariel. <laughs> Love you, boo. <laughs> rock climbing for me is like a mental preparation. I'm not sure physically. It's, it's, I'm not worried about it physically. Uh, it's just, I'm scared of heights. I, got, I don't know why we're fucking doing this. I don't know if I'm even gonna go up there, but personally, I just think what's gonna happen is I'm, I'm gonna be downstairs and I'm gonna just cheer Mariel on. Go, baby. You know, I know this is a very safe sport, but usually my bad luck beats safety. In Hawaii, I almost drowned four times in safe waters because they told me there was never gonna be waves there. Bullshit. There was waves and a great white shark. Well, how the fuck is that little bungee cord gonna support my weight? That makes no sense at all. I'm legitimately scared right now, dude. So you're telling me that if I'm on top and I fall off, that thing isn't gonna prevent me from dying. Because I saw two people that are probably 120 pounds each, and I understand there's enough traction to help them from not falling. I'm a lot bigger than 120 pounds. You know what the weird thing is? Like, most guys, they don't want to look like a little bitch in front of their girlfriend. I don't give a fuck. I don't have that. <laughs> If I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. I told her from the, she's been wanting to rock climb for a long time. And you know like girls, they always like to sneak in what they want by just kind of mentioning it casually. Hey, you know what would be really fun? If we go rock climbing. Well, bitch, you finally got what you wanted, huh? As the climber, you're gonna say to me, once we get everything set in, you're gonna say, on belay. On belay? Yeah, and then I'm gonna check my belay device and make sure everything's good, all the ropes look good, and then I'm gonna say, belay on. And then you say um, climbing, and then and then uh, I'll say climb on, and then you begin your. Oh, so there's like this banter of yeah. check this, check that. Exactly. You're okay. Go die. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Holy fucking shit! Somebody fucking save me. Okay, so you're gonna go through this hole underneath, <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna trace this one back through. See, I would have already died. That's why you need a professional around with you at all times. I would have just done one of those shoe, shoe knots that you do with your shoelace. Square knot? Yes. Bunny ears? What's the name of this knot? It's called the I, David Don't Fucking Die knot. And if you have an extra slack, just do a little, a little knot on the end. Oh, so if I ever wanted to kidnap somebody and they couldn't escape, I would use this. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but I could tell you I don't have any money. But what I do have are a particular set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. You are the person that's gonna keep me alive? Yeah, and the soft brown. <laughs> I didn't wanna do it. I didn't wanna do it. 
I, I, I didn't want to do it. And you know what the weird thing? I was kind of like just testing my water. I wanted to see if I could just put a couple of, you know, steps on there, see what was happening, then you let me down again. I, and it, honestly, Garrick is like, what, 100 pounds? How is he supposed to support me? How? Hope you know I'm a heavy set man. If I fell off that thing and I survived, I would have fucking snapped that little boy's legs. But even more worse than that, if I would have fell, I think I would have just went straight through the Earth's core. <laughs> you and I are not similar weights. Here we go. He's less than I am not similar weights. I'm 240 pounds. He has a solid 150 at most. <laughs> we are not. We are nowhere similar way! I think what would have happened if I fell straight down and Garrick was holding it and Garrick would have fell and he was just shot right through the roof. <laughs> you know those fucking scenes in those anime cartoons where somebody gets hit, they just fly out to the universe? That's Garrick. Holy shit, I'm so scared! You can do it. <laughs> okay, so okay, this right is the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. Right foot. So I went up a few feet up in the air just to test it out. Then I politely and very manly asked Garrick to let me down. I was like, yo, dude, let me down real quick so I can reassess the situation just like that. Oh, I can't do this. I'm so scared of heights. You can do it. What if I fell right now? Then I'll catch you. Can we do a test to see if you'll catch me if I let go? Are you 100% sure? 1,000%. Oh, God. Let go. Let go. Ah! I can't do it. There's no trust. There's no trust! Oh, there's, there's no trust! Oh god! Oh my god, this is so frightening! There's no trust! He wanted me to trust him completely, and I didn't. I didn't trust a little skinny ass. Oh my god! Why would you do this for fun? I had to put a scenario like you're up there and then somebody is trying to like assault you, and I'm like, I have to go and save her. That won't work though, I would just run away. Personally, as I said earlier, I'm not scared of heights. I actually enjoy thrills, I actually like being scared. I enjoy being way up there. I'm actually part Superman, so flying and stuff is not an issue for me. I don't think I was scared at all. It's purple, it's purple. Is that purple? I can't tell! You got, you got right foot. I'm so scared, I'm gonna fall! I can't live like this! Oh god! Keep going. Keep going. Okay, hold on. Step, step up. Step up. <laughs> Hold on, let me come down for a second. Let me come down for a second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I can't do it. Hold on. Okay. Garrett, I'm gonna come down. No, you're not. Because I'm sweating my ass off. David, you can do it. David, just step up, okay? Fully extend your legs. Step up. There you go. Yes, <laughs> Christo. And what I soon realized was that the second time I went up there, he was not gonna let me down. Hold on. Let me come down, my arms are tired. You got it. Get it, let me come down. Get it. Okay, I gotta come down. I gotta come down. Get it, I'm falling. Nope. Get it, let me do it. Get it, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm gonna do it. Get it, I'm trying. I don't remember what I was saying, but it was something along the lines of me bartering or like trying to trade something else in order for him to let me down. Get it, I'm definitely afraid of heights. I'm getting dizzy. Get it, please let me down. I'll give you a million dollars. I will give you money! Because he wasn't gonna do it, I just had to commit all the way and go up to whatever point he wanted me to do it just so I could come down. Yep, let go ahead. The only thing I was thinking was the moment I come down, I'm gonna kill him. I don't even have a knife, but I was going to fashion a knife out of one of those rocks and stab the fucking shit out of that little bitch. Oh! oh! the tiring, it sweat from the fear. Oh my god, look how much you're sweating. That's great. Great job, dude. Oh, dude, I knew you could do it. I love this guy. That, that was, I cried. I can't do it. I saw Jesus. And he was like, my child, go down. You can't do it. And the girl was like, no, 
I'm talking to Jesus right now. He's testing you. And I was like, dang, Jesus really like that? He goes, yeah, like that. And so I said, go, go, go. You know how uh, most people have that feeling where if they face their fears and they conquered something, they're like, you know what? I did it. I did it. I'm proud. I will, I am not scared anymore. Bullshit. That's not how I felt at all. What I felt was I want to kill him, but I'm so glad that I'm here on the floor that I'm not gonna do it. I think I cried. If you guys ever need rock climbing lessons, call him up for a fee and he'll, and he'll never let you down. I'll never let you down, Dave. Literally and figuratively, <laughs> he will never let you down. It's weird because I see all these kids here and they're just casually going up like doo -doo -doo -doo, drinking a little Capri Sun. Like, hey guys, what's going on? Look at that fat guy up there. He can't stop screaming. <laughs> you know what <laughs> the biggest bullshit out of everything was? I think it took me a solid 45 minutes to get to the top. And then the, the funny thing is I saw Mariel do it and I think the average person takes roughly about 30 seconds. Did not realize that because I was chilling and I just looked over at the right she, and then Garrett goes, Hey, go. 30 seconds, touch the top, she comes right back down. That was fun. Yeah. I wanted to more. You like went like 10 times faster than David that time. <laughs> oh, you still got it. Well, David, it was overcoming his fear. So. Me, I'm just, I knew this guy could catch peace. <laughs> you know, if you guys want to get as good as Garrett, you got to go through uh, my lessons. Don't look at any of the previous clips past this point. Here Vince goes. Cameraman extraordinaire, he don't give a fuck about nothing. Look at him, like he's been doing it for years. If you guys don't know, Vince used to rob houses all the time, which is why he knows how to climb buildings. Look at him, this degenerate. Here we have Bonnie. What? On the orange thingies, as she extends her legs, brings her left and right arm up. She is smiling as she does it. Look at that beautiful red hair. Wow, what's the camera game on? It looks like red soft serve. There you go, licorice. There you go. Down comes Sunny, repelling as fast as she ever could. Well, my dear, how did that feel? There she is. There she is. Why the fuck is Sunny so good at that shit? Makes no You know what I think it is? It definitely has to do with weight. Sunny looks like she weighs as much as a cigarette butt. This is this is this is this is what she weighs right here. That girl's fucking good. I, it, and it's funny too because she always she downplayed herself. She was like, yeah, you know, I I casually do it here and there. That bitch was Spider Man. I survived. I conquered my fear. And we're gonna conquer more. <laughs> I was trying to be positive. I'm like, fuck that. It's funny because. After we were rock climbing for a little bit, I actually wanted to try it a little more. Not saying so much that my fear of heights is gone, it's just that I trust the mechanisms and I trust Garrick a little more. So I wanted to do more, but then my forearm burned like a thousand suns. It's because I fucked up. You know when you're scared, your body is so tense, like my ass, it like literally, if I wanted to shit at that moment, it would just, it wouldn't come out. Dinoing is where you just do one explosive movement and like kind of like a jump, a leap to another hold. What the? That's insane. It's fun. Fun stuff. They're, they're my favorite. It's my favorite. You wanna try it? Hey! Dude, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. Vince is gonna try this out. My pupil, my protege. So you just gotta... Is it, how's it up there? It's just a round ball. So just... Okay? <laughs> nice! Oh! That's it. Be careful! No. Nice! I don't know how it's possible, but... Garrick just just soared through the air like a motherfucking Filipino eagle. Just a putang! And he just grabbed this rock up on top. I don't know how that shit was possible. I used to think that I could not go on. I tried the dino wing. I think I was relatively close. But to be honest with you, I'm a kind of a deluded human being. So what I see in my head probably wasn't what it looked like on camera. So this technique that we're looking at right here is traditionally known as stemming, um, but what it's actually called is stupid.
because it's fucking crazy. Okay, you got it. I've climbed many rocks before. Uh, specifically, every night I climb this mountain called Rocky Road. Would you ever do this? Hell fucking no, I'm not doing this shit. Are you fucking crazy? I don't care how much weight I lose, how much fear I have conquered, I am not doing that shit. You gotta spread your, your legs all wide, your fucking ball sack dangling like two little grapes and shit. Crazy? Bouldering and rock climbing stuff has a lot of different categories. Apparently, there's something where you just don't use your feet at all, which is, by the way, is fucking stupid. I would have done it, but I don't want to embarrass them because I'm so skilled. Oh my god. Crazy. Yeah. Woo! Nice. So quick. Oh! So quick. I can't. I gotta turn myself from not using. <laughs> How did you hold yourself like that? Yeah. You got it. Basically, what everybody found out from rock climbing is that I am a master rock climber. I have absolutely the best skills. I, you see, I'm deceptive. I look very fluffy, but I'm very sturdy, much like a very old marshmallow. Where the outer side gets crusted up, and the inside is very soft. Practice some falling. Okay. <laughs> Where am I grabbing? Falling. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do right here. Turn towards you. Yep. Nice. There you go. Perfect. You just won the dance competition. <laughs> I'm gonna thread my fucking leg into this tiny thing here. Oh, look at that. B-boy B-boy threads, aka I'm gonna knit you a fucking sweater. <laughs> As you guys already know, I might have already mentioned it previously in the video that I'm extremely afraid of heights. And I know what you guys think about being afraid of heights, like you get a little nervous and scared. No, I'm talking about uh, one time when I went up on a hike and I just kind of realized how high we were. I got vertigo and I actually kind of like nearly collapsed and passed out. That's how scared I am. And the reason why I mention this right now to you is because living out loud is specifically about you guys going out and trying out new things. I did a lot when I was younger, when I got busy with David So Comedy and I got busy with, you know, trying to build this company, work on like Go For Broke Apparel, um, and a lot of other things that you guys don't know about. I started losing that kind of thirst for life and I want you guys to follow it too. I'm fucking scared shitless when I do these things and I want you to experience life because there's a lot more things out there that you can experience aside from the fucking two feet that you look at when you sit at home and you look at the floor and you don't look at anything else. Put your head up, experience everything out there for yourself because you can try and go on Reddit, you can try and go on these websites to tell you how to live your life and what things are dope, but if you don't actually do it, it doesn't mean a damn thing. So remember, go outside and live out loud. Peace, bitches. by far one of the most frightening experiences of my life. I have never done something